everybody and welcome to a wonderful month of orange and I've got two slightly different oranges on a bit more of a redder orange here and my scarves here a bit more on that golder orange spectrum but orange the color of freedom the color of letting go so June is going to be a month where we will be able to actually uh, feel more free and uh, it seems that we may be moving towards more of freedoms from the lockdowns. So definitely this month we'll be needing that freedom. It's a month for creativity. So coming up and birthing new ideas, not necessarily to launch new stuff in, but definitely for new ideas, for putting things forward, um, for actually creating a, the world you want to be in, or B, the product you want to be selling or adding into your portfolio. The reason for not actually launching it is it is a retrograde Mercury from the 29th of May to the 22nd of June. Now, Mercury is the planet of communication, and that will be going backwards or stationary in the sky, which does cause glitches of communication. So maybe people will miss here, or when you're trying to get things delivered, they won't be on time. Or when you want to get something out on your computer, it's not going to work. So this is the second of our retrograde Mercury's this year. But it's all finished after the 22nd of June. And it's onwards and upwards after that. I personally think July is a good month to actually be bringing new things out. It will be yellow and therefore be a leading shining light uh, for people. But I think in this orange month, we're all about reclaiming this freedom, this ability to actually um, let go of everything that we may have been holding on to. It's a great time to rejig your home. So you might want to put some more colour in your home, maybe paint something. It's about change. It's about transformation. It's about the fact that you just want something different. I have to watch with orange because I do love this colour so much. But if there's too much of it, then I become unstructured and I'm all over the place. Um, so and it can become quite dramatic. So orange has that ability to be part of the drama. So you will need the blue, the royal blues or the blue background that we have for the year to actually not allow yourself to get too overwhelmed. So I will be having orange around, but I won't be wearing too much of it because I know that that's one of my traits, that I can be overwhelmed. And as I'm an aspiring orange in my colours, I want that freedom. I want to be unconventional. I want to be uh, where society asks me those questions. So I think we're going to have a lot of that this month. So June may be quite challenging from a dramatic perspective and the unconventional um, be uh, a, a way that people will be wanting to move forward. But unconventional also means change and the ability to create a more loving and exciting world. And as we're moving from our three dimensional energies into our fifth dimensional energies over this period of time, this is a great month for studying that and learning more about it. So your meditation should be open, should be clear, should be fun. All of the, the time that you have with your family will be joyous, but just watch that little bit of drama, drama and not to go OTD because then something might give way to let go. So I wish you all a fantastic June. Enjoy that wonderful orange energy. I look forward to seeing you in July.